Hello friends and welcome to Picture Astrology. In this video, we will talk about the effects of Jupiter in the 4th house for a Virgo Ascendant Horoscope which is Jupiter will be in the sign of Sagittarius for a Virgo Ascendant. Before we start our analysis, let's see what we have. We have a Virgo Ascendant Horoscope meaning the first house of the horoscope has the sixth sign which is the Virgo and it is also called as the rising sign and Jupiter is placed in the fourth house. Fourth house contains the sign of Sagittarius which is owned by Jupiter himself and it is also known as the Mool Tricorn sign of Jupiter. So before we learn about the implications of this position, let's first see what all areas of life this placement can affect. So first of all, we know that Jupiter is Lord of two signs. One is the Sagittarius, which is in the fourth house itself. And the second sign is Pieces, which is in the seventh house. So definitely fourth house and seventh house areas will be affected by this placement of Jupiter. So we have fourth house affected as well as the seventh house. Now Vedic astrology gives special aspects to Jupiter and Jupiter aspects a fifth house from its position which would happen to be the eighth house in this case. Jupiter will also aspect seventh house from itself which will be the 10th house, all important 10th house and Jupiter also aspects 9, uh, 9th house from itself. So that will be the 12th house. So the effects will be felt on 8th house, 10th house and 12th house very significantly. Now we know Jupiter is natural significator of your elders, your children, your religious or spiritual processes in life. So all those areas is, will be affected as well. So you see just one placement of any planet can impact hundreds of things in your horoscope. Now in next few minutes we will look at few of the important things like your married life which is uh, given by 7th house, your work life, how far you will work, you know 4th house matters like your education, your mother, the kind of immovable property you can make. 12th house which signifies apart from expenses your spirituality the kind of fun you're going to have in life etc. So for a quick reference I have listed some of the high level areas which this one placement of Jupiter can affect in your life and in next few minutes we will learn about some of these areas or most of these areas one by one. So let's start with the fourth house uh, related matters. Um, first of all, fourth house is the house of your family and fourth house directly represents your mother as well. And Jupiter has a direct aspect on the 10th house which signifies your physical father. So Jupiter in its own sign or in its Mool Tricone sign of Sagittarius is highly auspicious as far as family happiness is concerned. And so people with this placement generally are born in a large family. They get to live with their grandfathers and uh, grandparents frequently. See because Jupiter is a planet which signifies everything big in your life. If you can see Jupiter as a planet, it is full of gases. There is no hard surface on Jupiter and it is the largest planet of the solar system apart from Sun. In fact, all other planets can easily fit into one Jupiter. So wherever Jupiter goes, it expands those areas. So generally a person is born in a large family 
एंड ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स इधर स्टे विद देम और दे विजिट देम ऑफन बेसिकली दे गेट अ लॉट ऑफ लव फ्रॉम देयर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स एंड बहुत देयर मदर एज वेल एज फादर दे जनरली आर रियली डिवोटेड टू देम सी जुपिटर इज अ प्लेनेट विच रिप्रेजेंट्स यूअर ड्यूटीज you know it is called as the planet of religion uh, very loosely but in eastern culture especially in vedic culture jupiter represents your duties things which you must do for society and for your family and it's jupiter here <clears throat> in fourth aspect in 10th shows that you will carry out your duties towards your family towards your mother and father with full sincerity and in turn you will also get a lot of love from your family from your parents when you were child now fourth house also shows your formal education like a degree which you will get and presence of jupiter here shows a very good education a inclination or a person who respect and values education and at the same time formal education you know you would like to get a certain degree people or kids who have this placement they always tend to have a clarity about what they want to do in life when they are student they are clear about what kind of subjects they want to get in and what kind of degrees they want to achieve in life now with this placement of jupiter if your ninth house Ninth house shows higher education, your PhD, you know, thesis, and so on. If the ninth and fifth are also well placed, then the person go on to get further education, and it can happen in foreign land also because Jupiter has an aspect on the twelfth house. Twelfth house shows everything which is related to foreign countries. So, you know, given this placement, suppose your Venus is in the twelfth house. then there are many people who get educated in foreign land and come back to their own country and do well so overall when it comes to fourth house related affairs this is a very good placement it is almost like a blessing because all the classical vedic astrology text they consider jupiter's placement in any cardinal house and cardinal house means kendra houses which are 1 4 7 or 10 in any of these houses if jupiter is placed in a strong position or in its own sign like you have here with jupiter in sagittarius then this placement is considered like a blessing and when it comes to fourth house affairs it is a blessing now let's just talk about the 10th house areas 10th house which is an all important house which shows how your activities are going to be pursued in the world many people related with fame and also the kind of work you are going to do now having a strong jupiter in the 4th house aspecting the 10th definitely ensures a very good name for the person so an individual with this placement is always known in the world for his ethical conduct in business so whatever kind of business you may do or uh, depending upon other factors of the horoscope you could be a professional like a, a lawyer or a doctor but in anything you do this thing will always stand out that you always follow ethics and do not compromise on those for anything there is another thing which happens because of this jupiter in the 4th house aspecting the 10th house is that these guys actually go out of the way to help others they have a very very helpful nature so if anybody comes to them for any kind of help or they see anybody in any kind of trouble they can help them without thinking about their own status at that time so this is very easily seen 
um, as a characteristic in any horoscope which has Jupiter in the fourth house with Sagittarius sign that they would go really out of the way to help others and make others problem their own. Now having Jupiter's aspect on the 12th which is a house of your expenditures, your sexual and spiritual process, it ensures that the person will have a very balanced approach towards this. So, you know, you will never over, overspend on anything or you will uh, not be overtly thrifty also. You know, you will do things in a very balanced proportion. So, overall, this placement of Jupiter, you know, is known to impart a lot of blessing to the people. But there are two areas which of little bit concern and let's talk about them now. First of all, Jupiter is known to give you fat. Jupiter is the significator or karka of fat. It is karka of sweet, sweet stuff. And having this Jupiter in the fourth house shows that first of all, generally the rib cage of the person will be broad and there will be a great tendency to acquire fat and this will happen specially after marriage see jupiter uh, is karka of any kind of bliss and by extension it shows your married life also and in this case jupiter is lord of the seventh house which is the sign of pieces so when marriage of the person happens this jupiter becomes more active and after marriage and especially after the age of 36 they tend to gain weight in leaps and bounds so generally this is a great indicator for a good marriage the married partner will also be highly educated but your married partner can also develop tendency to be overweight especially after the age of 36 and between 36 to 40 so this must be taken care of because this otherwise could result in more medical complications now jupiter is also significator of your children your progeny and children are denoted by the fifth house which is right here now fifth house for a virgo ascendant uh, horoscope contains the sign of capricorn which is owned by saturn and as a basic principle of vedic astrology every time the karka of a house goes 12th from that house so uh, fifth house is the house of children and the primary significator or the karaka of children which is Jupiter is in the fourth house which means it is one step behind that house or in other words in technical terms it is known as being 12th from the house. So when the karaka of the fifth house Jupiter is 12th from itself at you know at the very minimum it shows delay in getting a child now that delay should not be predicted if jupiter is retrograde and for the complete analysis of what will happen about your you know children and bliss from the children the position of saturn as well as the ascendant lord which is mercury are you know very uh, essential to be analyzed uh, but generally if Jupiter is strong in your horoscope and it is placed in a cardinal placement like in the fourth house it shows that you will have bliss from children so it's not very negative position for begetting a you know progeny or child but it definitely shows some kind of delay in in getting a children for both husband and wife so friends this was my uh, quick analysis of jupiter's placement in sagittarius if you like it please do subscribe to my channel and share this video uh, for more 
interesting videos and interesting topics for future thank you for watching and see you again soon